Hello to all. In this video, we will learn on how to compute the vertical asymptotes. A line where x equal to a, where a in this case is a constant, is a vertical asymptote of a function if either limit of x approaches a from the right side or limit of x approaches a from the left side will get a positive or negative infinity as an answer. Basically, there are two main steps in order to find vertical asymptote. First step, we have to find the value of a, which in this case, the denominator part must be equal to zero. Second step, we must perform one-sided test limit value of x, and our aim is to get infinity as an answer. Let's do example 13 to check our understanding. Find the vertical asymptotes if they exist for the following function. So, part A, we have a function 2 over 3x minus 2. As before, first step, we have to determine the value of x. And the only step is by equate your denominator part to 0. So, we will have 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So, our x value after we simplify will be 2 over 3. And that is what the value of x. Now, second step, we have to perform one-sided limit test for our x value. So, second step, first one, we will test limit of x approaches 2 over 3 from left of our function, so 2 over 3x minus 2. As we learned before, in order to find the answer, you just directly substitute your limit value into your limit function. So we will have 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 minus 2. And you will get 2 over 0. As you learned before, whenever you encounter the case constant over 0, your final answer will be infinity. But now, we have a problem where you have to determine the value of your, the, sorry. But now, we have a problem where you have to determine the sign of your infinity. So, choose one value that approaches 2 over 3 from left. So, 2 over 3 from left, you can choose 0 0.6. If you substitute again 0 0.6 into your function, you will get negative as your answer. In this case, your final answer will be negative infinity. Next one. After that, you must perform the same task, but now x approaches 2 over 3 from right side of the same function, so 3x minus 2. Then perform the same step, so we will have 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 minus 2, and once again you will get 2 over 0 as your answer, so your final answer will be once again infinity. But now we want to check the sign for our infinity. So 2 over 3 from the right side, you can choose 0 0.7 as your value. So substitute once again 0 0.7 into your denominator part, you will get a positive answer. So in this case, our final answer will be positive infinity. Now, since you get both positive and negative answer for your one-sided limit test, you can conclude that x equal to 2 over 3 is a vertical asymptote. In this case, it doesn't matter whether you get a same sign or different sign for your infinity. As long as you get an infinity as your final answer, we can conclude that the x value is the vertical asymptote. Now, we proceed with part b. So, we have 4 plus x divided by absolute value of x plus 3. So, whenever you encounter an absolute value function, just make sure you define this first. So, we will have 
a function of x plus 3 whenever x is at least negative 3 and we will have negative of x plus 3 whenever x is less than negative 3. So, now we proceed with our step before. Step number 1, find x. So, we have absolute value of x plus 3 equal to 0. Simplify this out, we will get x equal to negative 3. Now, proceed to our second step one sided limit test we will now try limit as x approaches negative 3 from left of our function 4 plus x divided by absolute value since this is from the left side we have to choose the negative function so negative of x plus 3 substitute your limit value we will get 4 minus 3 over negative of negative 3 plus 3 and we will get 1 over 0 here once again constant over 0 will be infinity so we want to check our sign so for negative 3 from left i choose the value of negative 3.1 substitute this up into your function we will get a positive results so positive infinity here now repeat the same process for limit of x approaches negative 3 from right of our function now since our negative 3 now is from the right side so we have to choose the positive function from the absolute value definition so we have to divide by x plus 3 once again substitute your limit value so here we will get 4 minus 3 divided by negative 3 plus 3 and we will have 1 over 0 once again infinity okay now for negative 3 from right i choose the value of negative 2.9 so here we will get once again a positive result so positive infinity as our conclusion settle this one we proceed with our last step which is conclusion part since for both cases we get a positive infinity for our final answer we can conclude that finally x equal to negative 3 is vertical asymptote function of x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 same as before we'll do our first step step number one equate your denominator equal to zero so we have x squared minus 2 equal to zero from here if we simplify this out we will get x equal to plus minus of set 2 settle our first step now moving on to our second step we have to do one-sided limit test because we have two values of x here means that we have to perform the test for four times okay so i'll start with the value of negative set 2 first so x approaches negative set 2 from left of our function x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 directly substitute here we will get negative set 2 plus 1 over negative set 2 squared minus 2 if you confuse with the set uh, value just directly compute this into your calculator so we will have negative of 0 0.414 over 0 constant over 0 you will get infinity so for negative set 2 from the left side you can choose one value and substitute that into your function and from here you will get a negative result so final answer negative infinity now repeat the same process for limit as x approaches negative set 2 from the right of x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 at this point you just repeat the same process from before of negative set 2 from the left side so you still get negative 0 0.414 over 0 and we will get infinity 
but since we have negative set to from the right side choose one value directly substitute into your function here you will get a positive result so conclusion positive infinity settle with x equal to negative set to now we will do for x approaches set to yes it seems like a repetitive process but you have to write everything down so we have set 2 plus 1 over set 2 squared minus 2 so from here we have 2.414 over 0 and we will get infinity so for set 2 from the left side choose one value directly substitute you will get a negative result so negative infinity for this part and last one for x approaches set 2 from the right side i forgot to put negative here so from the left side now from the right side x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 still the same substitution so we will get set 2 plus 1 over set 2 squared minus 2 2.414 over 0 so for set 2 from the right side choose one value substitute and you will get a positive result so finally positive infinity settle this one we can proceed with the last step of conclusion since for all cases we get infinity as our final answer whether it's positive infinity or negative infinity it doesn't matter so we can conclude now that finally x equal to 2 and x equal to negative set 2 are the vertical asymptote and that's all for this video we will proceed with horizontal asymptote in the next video thank you